video from police and 911 calls giving more insight into what happened. Yeah, so the, that suspect is now charged with attempted murder. WLWT News News anchor Ashley Kirkland has the scary encounter from that victim's point of view. Hi, Ashley. Hi, guys. Well, a woman says she was just trying to get breakfast at Chick-fil-A before work when police say 21 year old Noah Winkler shot at her car. She called 911 saying that she was not going to let him get away. Hi, um, I am turning into the Hilton Garden and I just had a man shoot at my car. What was supposed to be a normal Thursday morning for the woman on this 911 call turned into a road rage nightmare when she said she encountered Noah Winkler while grabbing breakfast before work. When I went into Chick-fil-A, he jerked around me and then that's when he started calling me names. I didn't even honestly know what I did to him. She says when they got out of the Chick-fil-A parking lot, Winkler turned left onto Cornell Road into the Hilton Garden. She tried to avoid him. I then proceeded to get up to the next light because at that point I didn't understand what I did. And he looked at me and pulled a gun. First call on the court's docket is Noah Winkler. Today, Winkler appeared before a judge charged with attempted murder and felonious assault. She said the suspect followed her and fired a shot into her vehicle. When police examined the vehicle, they discovered a bullet wound into the front left side of the vehicle that went through uh, into the rear seat back of where the victim was seated, missing her by a matter of inches. Uh -huh. The third charge, tampering with evidence, comes after police say Winkler threw the gun out of the car while he was driving away from the scene. Police were able to catch up with him because of the victim, who was determined to get his license plate number. I'm not going to let somebody get away with shooting at someone's car. I mean, I, okay, I I'm a I, gun I, owner. I, I don't want you pursuing him. I mean, you're not, you're not I get pursuing it. him. Well, the judge ordered Winkler to stay away from the victim and also issued him a $250,000 secure bond. His case goes before a grand jury March 18th. Ashley Kirkland, WLWT News 5. Ashley